The day has finally arrived. I am going to react to Gojira's latest album, Fortitude. Gojira, one of my favourite bands. Uh, my opinion, they don't have a bad album at all. Every single album is at least decent to fucking fantastic. So hopefully this will be no exception. This could easily become one of their most popular albums. It's definitely getting mainstream attention for a death metal band anyway. But will it be their best album? Let's find out. So first song, Born For One Thing, I've already heard it, heard it, heard it, I've done a reaction to it, it's somewhere on my channel if you want to look and find it. Musically it was uh, very well done, the story was great. Um, if I had to give a minor criticism, I think the vocal mix was very well. Yeah, I think it should have been, a, turned it up slightly, but other than that, great song. Uh, song number two, Amazonia. I've also heard that song. Couldn't really avoid it. It was played everywhere. Uh, first thoughts on it was, it reminds me of Sepultura. Probably with the uh, South African, no, South American uh, instruments being included. Again, very good song. Great message. Save the rainforest. How could you argue with that? Uh, yeah, typical Gojira. Changing the style up. Really good. Third song, I didn't even know this one was going to be on this album. I thought it was just like a taster before the album. A bit like uh, All Out Life with Slipknot. Uh, Another World, I didn't know it was going to be on this album. Uh, it's here, it's track number three. I've already heard it. I liked it. Uh, it had a really cool riff. Uh, yeah, great guitar work. Uh, it was catchy. I did feel it went on and on a bit. I don't know. It was kind of the same thing over and over. I felt yeah, it kind of switched up a bit more. But other than that, yeah, that was a good song too. So we're up to song number four already and we haven't even started the reaction. But what can I say? I don't want to listen to the same songs I've already heard. I've already heard them. Anyway, so song number four is called Hold On. A lot of vocal harmonies on this intro to the song. Kind of makes sense after another world. Yeah, I like that guitar like that. Okay, so reminding myself that this is actually indeed the fourth song in the album, not the first. It's on the fourth song. I did think it was going to be an instrumental at first. I'm rather surprised that then the lyrics actually came in. Yeah, good song. Uh, the drum work was really good. The guitar work was exceptional when it actually happened. <laughs> yeah, I think the last the three minutes of the actual song was very good. Yeah, that felt that it almost feels like an intro to an album. That song, it's weird. It's kind of thrown me off because I'm treating it like that was the intro to the whole fucking thing. It's like no, we're that's fourth. Song number four, song number four. It's after another world, so I guess it makes sense it being there. Yeah, good song anyway. Anyway, let's go to the next. That's a really good riff. Back to the chorus.
I do like the chanting in the background. I will say off the bat that musical breakdown at the end, probably better than the actual song itself. Don't get me wrong, good chorus, enjoyable riff, but yeah, that, that bit at the end is really good. Uh, at 6 minutes 37 seconds, that's the longest song on the album, did not feel that long in all honesty. Uh, I think it was, I think that breakdown was about 2 minutes at the end. Yeah, really good song. And we are now on to the title track, which is looking like the shortest song. So very likely going to be an instrumental, let's find out. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an instrumental. It's just starting too slow for the length of time it's got. It's going to be like silver chord. But yeah, it was. It was an instrumental, just as expected. Yeah, very pleasant, uh, very Native American feel to it. Not surprising. I think that's the theme. Uh, and it goes on to the next song, I think, the chant, because it didn't end. So I think it's going to continue on onto the next song. So let's see how it fares. Yep, just throwing in the guitar over it as well. So this is pretty much what it sounds like. Oh, that's super catchy, isn't it? Okay, I really like that song. It had a really cool vibe to it. Very catchy. Very chilling as well. Very mellow vibe to it. But I did feel like it reminded me of like Opeth, uh, they're both like progressive death metal bands, but they've always had their own sound. But that song in particular then, I, I, I just, it felt like I was listening to Opeth. How strange. <laughs> anyway, enjoyable. Next song is Sphinx. Oh, back to sound like Gojira again. We're all over the world in this album. You've got South American instruments, you've got songs about the Amazon, you've got Native American chanting, now this is Sphinx, so now Egyptian, so in Africa, all over the world. And I'm sat here. Pubs are opening again on the 17th. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. I 
was another good song. <laughs> what can I say? Musically fantastic as always. Gojira, always really good at that. Especially those guitar licks are just so catchy every time. Always think back to like Stranded, but they did it over and over again in every album. They've always got it. Yeah. Fantastic. Although, compared to like older albums, this is so mellow. <laughs> They've definitely been like finding their sound and progressing, obviously. That's their fucking genre. Yeah. So a lot more. A lot more residual in the sound. It's less impact of blah, blah, blah. like early music of like drilling into you, like the messages, and now it's more like just enjoy the fucking music and you'll get the message eventually. They just have this natural ability to to not have to force their like uh, thoughts and motives onto you. You know they don't have to bully you into it, don't have to make it you know, obvious either or overbearing. They just do really good music and really good messages, you know, saving the planet with good fucking music. You can't get better than that. Next song. Oh, that was fantastic. Hmm. Oh, such a good sucker, too, as well. Wow, isn't it? Probably four and a half minutes already. Five minutes song. I'm sorry, midway break, have a drink. The fucking song's over. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I really like that, but over way too quick. Fuck. I was expecting a guitar solo or a breakdown or something, but what they did give us was really fucking good, so I, I can't complain. Yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to that one again very soon. But yeah, Into the Storm, fuck yeah. Good song. Okay, next song, The Trails. You sounded different. Quite a different guitar tone. I will say in this song, the mixing for the vocals is better, and then there's fucking whispering somebody added in, <laughs> just to piss me off. 
<laughs> I couldn't quite catch that, but anyway, let's keep going. This is such a contrast in the songs. The other one, I was headbanging away. This one, I could easily just have a nap right now. <laughs> it's very relaxing. Where are they going to go with this? Don't put that on. I'm at the end of the song, am I? Oh, I'm at the end of the fucking song! God damn it! I was waiting for it to go somewhere else and it's done. Fuck's sake. Yeah, no, that was nice and soothing. Yeah. I feel, I feel like a lot of the songs have been quite chilled out that I've listened to today. Except for Into the Storm. But yeah, relaxing again. Is that... We've already had the storm, so it can't be the calm before the storm, but we've got grind next. The orders are running to the grind, I hate my job. This is like the most relaxed I've ever been <laughs> for about a Gojira album, I would say. Given the fact that we've skipped like the first three songs anyway, but still, I remember what I like. Uh, yeah, this is just so mellow. <laughs> In a good way though, it's really good. 
just so relaxed. I've worked today as well, so this is, you know, this has just removed all that stress that I had earlier. I've noticed they've got very long outros. Oh, just, just the fade, like over a minute of just fading. And there we go, the end. That was Gojira Fortitude. Yeah, very relaxing album, very enjoyable. Musically, phenomenal. Absolutely fantastic. If I do have to say a criticism, it might be that the vocal mixing and a lot of the songs was quite low. I was struggling to hear. And even on like repeats of like, Born for One Thing with headphones, it was still kind of a struggle to hear. It might happen on these songs as well. Well, apart from that, everything else is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, save the planet, people. We only have this one. You think even with COVID, we'd stop doing stupid shit, but no, no we're still doing stupid shit. We're going to continue to do stupid shit. And if we ever do find another fucking planet, we're going to do stupid shit on that planet. <laughs> anyway, fantastic album. Very enjoyable. Yeah, I'm going to listen to this a lot throughout this year. But not in the car, because I'll probably... <laughs> I'll back home from work on a long day. That could, like, put me to sleep. And, you know, I won't make it home. Yeah, very good album. Fantastic. Thank you, Gojira, once again. Excellent catalogue. Excellent. I can imagine people bitch, you know, just like with Opeth, not doing growls as much. Oh, this doesn't sound me like anymore. Me, I don't like them. They're going mainstream. They're selling out. This, this is just music. You can't do the same shit every time. You've got to, you've got to progress somewhere. Otherwise, what's the point? You might as well just retire. Do you want them to retire? No, I don't want them to retire. Fuck you. Keep going. Keep doing what you love. If you don't like it anymore, listen to someone else. It's fucking easy for me. This has gone on long enough and this is going to take fucking ages to edit. God knows, <laughs> God knows what week it's... Uh, don't, don't know how long this album's going to be out by the time I fucking get around to releasing this video. But, anyway. Peace.